Hi students, today let's discuss on the topic called conception function. Now conception function means it's the use of goods and services by the household. In economics, the conception function describes a relationship between conception and disposable income. The concept is believed to have been introduced into macroeconomics by J.M. Keynes in the year 1936. Now we shall draw this diagram with the step by step method. First draw x axis that states the conception. Now draw a line horizontally that is y axis which measures the level of income. Now divide the axis with 45 degree line where c is equal to y that means conception is equal to income. Now a new line appears at point 20. Now it passes through C is equal to Y curve. Now this curve is called to be C is equal to A plus BY. Now this 20 means 0 to 20 which is also called to be autonomous conception. What is autonomous conception? It is a conception when income is zero. So that means even with no income, you may borrow to buy foods. So that is called to be autonomous conception, which means even without income, you borrow money for your survival. So the line passes from 20. Now the income is 120. And the conception also is 120. So it meets at the point B, which means it is called to be break even point that divides both conception and income equally. Now plot a point for there is an increase in the level of income, which leads to the increase in the level of conception. Now just draw a line joining both income and conception. Now the income increases, the conception also increases, but not that increase in the level of income. So it's very clear that the conception increases with the rise in the level of income. So the conception function it states the various amount of conception expenditure corresponding at a different level of income. So, the Keynes hypothesized with marginal propensity to consume is less than more on household's income, which goes on increasing. The more or its rate of saving is parallel. Now, the income increases from 120 to 180. The conception also increases, but at this point of time, the people are spending less than the level of their income, that is 170. So out of 180, they are spending 170, where they are able to save rupees 10 out of their income, which becomes their savings. Students, if you like my video, please comment me. And don't forget to subscribe me. Thank you.